welcome everyone to the new video so before the start of the video i would like to request you guys to the subscribe to the channel share my videos with your friends like and comment most importantly comments on the video this will help me to improve the content and let me know what kind of videos you wish to see so in this reaction we are going to be talking about the proline catalyzed reactions reactions like at all reaction or robinson annulation and we are going to learn about the mechanism of the reaction which will help us understand about the stereochemical outcome of the product that we see in this particular reaction so there have been at least two or three questions that have been asked in either net or gate so i thought it would be a good idea to cover this particular so these protein catalyzed reaction if we see what do we mean by protein sorry proline catalyzed reaction so these can also be referred to as organocatalysis because here what we are using we are using an organic molecule to catalyze an organic reaction so in these reaction these organic molecules are acting as a catalyst to catalyze the reaction in the forward direction and here proline is a very well known amino acid so in 1970s what was found that proline has the ability to catalyze reaction with high enantiomeric excess so by the time i mean in the year 2000 and afterwards there have been thousands of papers that have report uh, i mean where, where the efficiency of proline to catalyze various transformation have been highlighted okay so here we will see one such example here what they have done they have taken aldehyde or sorry they have taken acetone and we have an aldehyde and we are using as proline as a catalyst only 30 mole percent and DMSS media which is which gives us the beta hydroxy ketone in very very high enantiomeric selectivity as well as high E. So what is the most important thing about this particular reaction? So the first step of the reaction is of course the formation of this enamine species. So since we are taking the key this ketone in uh, large excess so what we are doing we are driving the reaction in the forward direction so that the ketone forms the enamine and anyways this particular aldehyde is pretty hindered so the formation of enamine with acetone is much more preferred in this particular case okay now comes the second question how do we predict the stereochemistry stereochemical outcome so let's look at into the mechanism of this reaction okay so what happens actually once this enamine is formed and then the aldehyde approaches this particular enamine so it this the, the reaction proceeds via this six membered Zimmerman Trexler transition state. So, if you haven't watched my videos on Zimmerman Trexler transition state of the adult condensation, I'd highly recommend you to go and watch those videos. In those videos, I have clearly explained the I mean, how to draw the Zimmerman Trexler transition state. I mean, which group, group should be pseudo equatorial, which group should be pseudo uh, axial, and uh, uh, in, in what which cases actually they are more stable okay i have discussed all those cases you can probably i highly recommend you to watch those videos so what is happening now you can clearly see this is in i mean okay and this carboxylic group this is coming out of the plane okay so, since this is beta so this is coming out of the plane now the hydrogen of this carboxylic acid plays a very very important role in determining the stereochemistry of the hydroxyl group and why is it so because it is this hydroxyl group this is the hydrogen of the hydroxyl group which is coming up out uh, this is coming this is in the beta direction this is coming towards us so it means that the it this hydrogen interacts with the oxygen of the aldehyde so it means now the aldehyde is only going to approach from the beta phase okay because this is interacting with the aldehyde and now second most important thing the r group of the aldehyde it would choose to stay at the pseudo equatorial position so what do we mean by pseudo equatorial this is what uh, uh, we mean that this is not ex exactly an equatorial but pseudo equatorial in between the action and equatorial just in order to have the minimum energy okay and uh, as a result of this uh, orientation as i said that since this is coming beta as a result of which this aldehyde will also come from the beta now once this bond forms then we can clearly imagine the OH that uh, that will be installed here is always going to be beta rather than the alpha. Okay, so that is what decides the stereochemistry in this particular case. Okay, so the the hydrogen has the biggest role, and once this is formed, since in the first step we have ejected the water out of the system, so this water simply hydrolyzes the imine to give us the desired aldol product in which the OH group is at has a beta phase. Okay. I hope you understood the mechanism how the reaction goes through okay 
So now let us look at other examples of proline catalyzed reaction. So these are highly efficient with these, uh, you know, hydroxy ketones as well. Okay. So again, we have this hydroxy ketone and we have this aldehyde. The enamine formation takes place with these hydroxy ketones. And the stereochemistry of this enol is Z. Okay. This stereochemistry is E. Sorry, E. Not Z. It is E. The reason being, once this is transenamine, the hydroxyl group occupies a equatorial position, which is far more stable. And again, similarly, just like the previous case, just like in our previous case, we had our LD, our carboxylic group is coming out of the way. Because it is coming out of the way, and the carboxylic group of hydrogen is coming out of the way. वो इंटरेक्ट करेगा एल्डिहाइड के ऑक्सीजन से अगर वो एल्डिहाइड के ऑक्सीजन से इंटरेक्ट करेगा तो वो भी कहां करेगा वो भी एल्डिहाइड को सेम फेज से अटैक करवाएगा मतलब एल्डिहाइड ऊपर से अटैक कर रहा है मतलब एल्डिहाइड बीटा फेज से अटैक कर रहा है तो इसका मतलब जब ये दोनों के दोनों बॉन्ड फॉर्म होंगे आपके तो ओ OH जो यहां बनेगा उसकी सीरोकेमिस्ट्री हमेशा बीटा होगी तो इस केस के अंदर आपकी सीरोकेमिस्ट्री एंटी क्यों है अगेन इसके बारे में आप मेरा वो वाला वीडियो देख लीजिए जिमरमैन ट्रांसफर ट्रांजिशन स्टेट और एडोल वाला ये क्लैरिटी आपको आ जाएगी ओके यहां भी मैं थोड़ा सा आपको समझा देता हूं जब भी आपका ये दोनों बॉन्ड बनेगा आपका ये ओ OH और ये वाला आर ग्रुप ये क्या है दोनों के दोनों इक्वटोरियल पोजीशन पे हैं ठीक है और हमको पता है साइक्लोहेक्सेन के कॉन्फ़िगरेशन में जब भी वन टू सब्सिट्यूएशन इक्वटोरियल इक्वटोरियल होता है तो उसे हम क्या कहते हैं हम उसे कहते हैं ट्रांस इसीलिए इन दोनों की सीरो क्या है ट्रांस है इसीलिए हमारे को इस केस में हमें क्या मिल रहे हैं हमें एंटी एडोल मिल रहा है ठीक है सो ये चीज आपको आई होप समझ आ गई होगी क्योंकि हमारा ओ हमारा कार्बोक्सिल ग्रुप बीटा है तो ये हाइड्रोजन एल्डिहाइड से इंटरेक्ट कर रहा है तो इस ओ OH की सीरो केमिस्ट्री क्या होगी हमारी हमारी बीटा होगी और क्योंकि ओ OH हमारा इक्वटोरियल पोजीशन पे है इसलिए हमारा ये क्या होगा अल्फा होगा ओ OH. अगेन वाले वीडियो देखो सारा का सारा क्लियर हो जाएगा सिमिलरली यहां पर हमारा बट वी है इनामीन फॉर्मेशन विद वन ऑफ द एल्डीहाइड टेक्स प्लेस एंड देन The same side attack takes place, okay? Because the OH is interacting as a result of which the hydroxyl group will form. Always remember, ये चीज़ हमेशा याद रखो। जो OH form होगा, वो same phase से form होगा, क्योंकि ये oxygen जो है ना, ये interact कर रहा है, ये oxygen के sorry, ये hydrogen जो है ना, carboxyl group का ये सबसे बड़ा role play कर रहा है इसको करने में। और जो हमारी stereo chemistry होगी, aldol की, वो क्या होगी? Anti होगी। Just remember these things, and these two are very very important examples. Let us look at the last example, which is the Ender Robinson annulation annulation reaction. So you have this sort of you know product that is formed as a result of the Michael addition. आपको दिखा सकते हैं Michael addition. Now what happens? You added the proline and DMF as a solvent. So now what happens? That enamine formation takes place. आपका ये वाला enamine बन गया. Enamine बन गया तो हमको पता है अगर attack इस वाले carbonyl पे होगा तो the OH that is going to be formed is going to be from the same phase. Okay? That is why you end up getting the Desired stereo chemistry. Okay, so that is the answer for that. So you get this product in 93% E. So whatever example I have covered are absolutely important from exam point of view. Just go through them, and I hope now you understood about the stereo chemistry. How does the stereo chemistry in the reactions decided? Okay, like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.